Hi everyone, this is Will here again, and today we'll be looking at how to use activities in Android apps. So, I've got a contact manager app here, and the first thing I want to point out is that this was my main activity, which corresponded to this layout right here, which allows us basically to create new contacts. take a quick look at the XML this is what we see and notice that we've added click handlers for each of the buttons add new contact and view all contacts and we need to go and create the actual functions inside the activity for that so if you go back to the activity you'll notice that these functions have already been created right here now take a look at the add new contact function and notice this function call right here, start activity. The method start activity requires something called an intent as a parameter. An intent is basically an abstract description of an operation to be performed. So in this case, the operation is we want to go from one activity to the other. So the intent takes as parameter this object and the class of the activity that we want to move to. And then simply calling start activity by passing it that intent will move the user from one screen to the other. Now before we can go test this out, there's one more thing we need to take care of. So let's go take a look at our Android manifest file. And we'll look at the XML here. Every activity has to be registered in this file. So you see here, this is the activity that corresponds to the new contact screen. I've also created a new activity here, which corresponds to our new main menu screen. You see, main, the name is main menu activity, and this is its label here. The important thing to notice is this intent filter node. This node exactly as is belongs inside whichever activity you want to launch when the app first launches so earlier when the app launched it immediately launched to the new contact screen which is obviously not what we wanted we want the main menu to launch so now that we have the main menu activity we want it to launch upon startup and that's what this denotes now you're free to test it out at this point but one thing you may notice is that after creating a new contact and saving it, you have no way of returning back to the main menu. This is easily rectified, so we'll go to our contact manager activity. And we have two function handlers for both the save and the cancel buttons. And all that you need is simply, whenever you're done on one activity, just call finish and that will finish up the activity and bring the user back to the previous one which in our case is the main menu now that our new contact button is working on our main menu we need our view all contacts button to get working as well so we need another new activity so you can see I've already created this activity right here so we'll take a look at that and again, first thing to notice is we have a layout here called All Contacts that we've set as the default layout for this activity. Now we'll go take a look at that layout. Notice that all there is in the layout is just a linear layout 
we've given it the ID of layout, all lowercase. This ID will be needed later as we'll need to dynamically access this layout to add objects to it. So again we need to register it in the manifest file. So if you see here, new activity, the name is view all contacts, and as a label we've set all contacts. And again, this activity does not have the intent filter node because we don't want it to be the first activity to launch when the app launches. It's setting the text property to the given string variable. And then we have here some layout parameters, basically so that the width will match the parent element and the height will wrap the content. And then we're simply taking the layout and adding this text view with these P parameters. So. Uh, in this loop we're doing it for each contact and then we're also adding a button here so create a new button text is back just so that they can return back to the main menu and we're setting an on, dynamically setting an on click listener for the button and the simply it will call finish to re complete the activity and return 
back to the main menu. Thanks for watching.